Hey there, Commanders. Today we have a shakeup for the weekly community goal with a rare exploration-focused event. These kinds of CGs aren't commonly posted, in large part due to the amount of effort required to participate. Unfortunately, the reward is relatively uncompelling, though it will be available for up to two weeks following completion. Exploration CGs bear some superficial resemblance to commodity CGs, in that they require commanders to go out and find something specific and then return it. In this case, the CG's primary concern is ammonia worlds. These are high-density atmospheric ammonia worlds, which are not landable and which require a detailed surface scanner to fully map. These planets actually highlight a lot of the technology that underlines the galaxy model in Elite Dangerous, which is based on real astronomical data. The more you understand about the real-world conditions that create these systems, the easier it is to read and manipulate your galaxy map in order to find more of them. Or you can just use Spanch which has a dedicated Ammonia World tool that will allow you to find all the known Ammonia Worlds in your vicinity and compile them into a linear route that you can work your way through. While not very engaging, it is very efficient if all you want to do is grind for credits. Keep in mind that scanning Odyssey surface biological sites is still the most lucrative credit farm in the game, even with the credit bonuses provided by this CG. Also keep in mind that Spanch only knows about worlds that have already been discovered, so you won't be getting any first discovered bonuses. This also means that if you're too far away from populated space, Spanch isn't going to give you much to work with, since there won't be very many known systems to pull from. For the more aspirational explorers who don't mind spreadsheets, love astronomy, and aren't scared of long reads, you can refer to Marx's Guide to Finding Ammonia Worlds. This article on the Frontier Forums is packed with lots of nerdy information about system configurations and star classes likely to contain ammonia worlds. Basically, if you want large volumes of ammonia worlds with a chance at the first discovery and first mapped bonus, then jump a few thousand light years away from habitable space, set your star class filter to F only, and start jumping. Increasing your chances from here requires judiciously studying the galaxy map, understanding the information packed into stellar survey system names, and understanding where the approximate ammonia habitable zones are in a system. This stuff is way too dense for a CG overview and would have to be its own video, but what I've gone over here will get you started. For newer players who have not engineered an exploration ship, I highly recommend the Spanch router. This will allow you to hit the highest number of ammonia worlds per hour and get the most from ships with more limited configurations. You don't need a lot of gear to get started. A Diamondback Explorer is the ideal introductory exploration ship. Slap whatever extended range mods you can on a 5A frameshift drive, add a detailed surface scanner, and a fuel scoop. You can also add an SRV bay and buy a Pioneer suit with the genetic sampling tool. These two optional items will allow you the ability to collect surface samples from other worlds you find along the way. It can increase your total earnings per hour, but at the cost of progress towards the actual CG. As for rewards, it's credits. But, depending on the number of ammonia worlds turned in, a bonus multiplier will be added to the value of all exploration data. The multiplier size and duration are determined by progress in the campaign itself, with values up to four times normal for a max of two weeks following goal completion. This would be the opportune moment to do bulk returns on exploration data if you've been storing it up, though unfortunately this means many high tier explorers won't be participating, as they are likely to wait and get the larger multiplier then manually sift through their massive library of exploration data to pluck out only ammonia worlds, a process that can be quite tedious if you've been gathering it for months. In future CGs, it would be great to have a contextual button that only turns in the specific data that is being sought and leaves the irrelevant stuff alone for later. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.